Prime Minister Modi will be on a state visit to France in July, during which India will announce the Rafale Marine as the winner of the Indian Navy's 26 multi-role carrier bond fighter jets tender, and there might also be some more breakthroughs in the talks during the visit. The Indian Navy's plans to procure 26 Rafale Marine, that could involve the local kit assembly at the Dassault Alliance Aerospace Limited facility, and talks are also being held for a possible government-to-government -government deal for 90 Rafale fighter jets that could be manufactured in India at the same facility for the Indian Air Force. France will also invite India to participate in the France-led sixth-generation fighter jet program known as Future Combat Air System for which Safran will develop a next-generation engine. Talks will also be held on transfer of non-nuclear technology and pump jet propulsion for the development of three nuclear attack submarines that India is keen to develop locally in the country. India's Ministry of Defence has initiated a project to design and develop extra-large unmanned underwater vehicles, and the prototype development is expected by 2025. The Indian Navy will procure 12 extra-large unmanned underwater vehicles that would help in bridging the projected gap due to significant delays in Project 75I. It will have a maximum length of 50 meters with the 5 meters and height of 10 meters, and gross weight of less than 300 tons, a maximum endurance of over 45 days, and the Defence Ministry is also probing the feasibility of mounting two 533mm torpedo tubes and mine laying capability for the extra-large unmanned underwater vehicles. Russia is exploring the possibility of shifting the production of its military equipment to India, in order to resolve payment issues that have stuck due to US sanctions. Russian officials have suggested that shifting production to India could help alleviate payment problems, as it would enable India to pay for equipment in rupees rather than US dollars, and the move would also support India's Make in India initiative to promote domestic manufacturing, and this new step would further deepen the defense partnership between the two nations. Officials have said that discussions between India and Russia on this matter are ongoing, and a decision will be made soon. The leakage of classified information images and videos of India's integrated test range by contractual employees has become a cause of concern for top DRDO officials. Tenders have been released to acquire rotary wing unmanned aerial vehicles that are capable of providing aerial surveillance of the missile facility and observing missile launches from high altitudes, and the facility will also be equipped with anti-drone technology that is capable of both soft and hard kill methods to counter rogue UAVs. The indigenous technology cruise missile launcher was spotted being road transported towards the DRDO's integrated test range, and as the note I'm warning for a designated test area of 750 km for missile testing remains active, there is a high chance that fresh trials of the indigenous technology cruise missile could be conducted very soon. The Indigenous Technology Cruise Missile Program is a technology demonstration project for the Indigenous Manic Engine, that will be utilized in the Long Range Land Attack Cruise Missile Program, which is anticipated to be a critical missile system for the upcoming Indian Rocket Force. Oh,